I can hear their antlers too. Yeah. Oh my God. I think I'm gonna throw up. I've got a good one for you today, but before I jump into the hunt, I kind of wanted to give you a little bit of a backstory of this. So my buddy Paul, he and his wife were friends with my wife before I met her. He and I had become friends kind of because the girls were friends for years and they all went to college together. So Paul and I got talking and hunting came up and uh, you know, he told me how much he loves to hunt and how much he hunts and we were showing buck pictures and talking and you know, he mentioned that, you know, he'd hunted for a lot of years with a bow, but had never been able to kill one. And I think it's somewhere around 18 years he's been hunting with a bow without a kill. He hunts pretty hard, you know, he doesn't get a ton of time to hunt in the fall, but, you know, he gets out on the weekends and dives around public land, but he's never been in a tree stand. He's only ever hunted on the ground. So this summer I had told him, you know, man, if you get a couple of days off work, uh, why don't you come up? get a doe tag for this area and come down and spend a couple days with me and let's see if we can't get you your first one with a bow and so that's kind of how it all happened uh he got a couple days off work and was able to come up and hang out with me and this is what happened i got my buddy paul with me it's the first time we've ever hunted together we're just sneaking along the edge of this cornfield right now we got a north wind today, so it's kind of an odd wind for most of my spots. There's a bunch of rubs back there. Some fresh droppings and deer signs, so that's a good start. Honestly, that's kind of a cool little hole right there. Like ducked out in there, you have a freaking 20 yard shot right here. See, you won't have time to get nervous. You'll just be sitting here and then all of a sudden we'll hear there's one right in front of us. Draw. Shoot. Yeah. Game over. Just starting to crack daylight. Got ball up here in the same spot that Meg shot her deer the other night. I've already had some deer work through in the dark, but they circled downwind of us and busted. I think we'll see some more deer this morning. Got two bucks down there. They were just clashing horns a second ago. Oh yeah, I can see the rack, finally. The one to the left is definitely a nicer deer. Is it? They're really getting after it, aren't they? Yeah, they're just kind of playing. I mean, not hard. They're just sparring. Okay, now they're getting a little more aggressive. Yeah. That's so cool. I can hear their antlers too. Yeah. Dude, it don't get much better than that. A freaking frosty morning. Sitting in a tree watching the sunrise, watching two bucks fight. Dude, dude they're kind of coming this way. I mean, you don't gotta get your bow yet. Your hand will get really cold. I'll be fine. They're coming through that corn. Yeah, I see the one on the right. I don't, I don't the other know. one is coming too.
they quit looking at it. Just enjoy the sunrise, my friend. All it is is a target with air. Absolutely crushed him, dude. Did I get him? He's going down right there, dude. He's going down right there. He's going down right there, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Oh. Dead deer, buddy. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. oh my god, dude, he's dead in the field. You absolutely smoked him. Oh my. I, I can't even talk. I need I to sit down. Sit down, dude. Oh. oh my god. I think I'm gonna throw up. It's okay. Throw up, dude. <laughs> you just killed a bug with your bow. Oh my god. Your arrow is buried in the freaking ground right there. Oh man, look at, I can't even, I don't know how I'm gonna climb down this ladder. We're just gonna sit here and watch the freaking sunrise, dude, because that was the hunt of a lifetime right there. I, I, I gotta put my, I'm gonna drop my phone. <laughs> um, every time he was, he was on his way up, and every time he'd pick his head up and look our direction, that's so scary, I'm like, he sees us. No. I got so nervous. You crushed that, dude. Absolutely crushed that. You took your time. <sighs> Everything was perfect. <sighs> that was meant to be, dude. That was just meant to be. All right, let's go run a marathon now. Yeah, right? You could crush your marathon <laughs> right now. <laughs> Every every buck or every deer, I guess I should say, I shot is always in the heart. Dude, well you freaking twelve ringo. Before we get going here and I get into all sorts of emotions, I mean, the I, I couldn't. I don't even thank you isn't even a a term I can I can say to you. Like it's this isn't uh, this is this is something that I'll 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 talk about 
every probably for the rest of my life easily yeah i mean it's it, this is uh you taking the time out of your day out of your busy schedule of your hunting and your your work and and you know uh everything that you're doing it, it i couldn't uh it means so much to me you know the the stuff that you point out that you know i had spent uh, you know the last 18 years trying to figure out mm -hmm. you know just little missing pieces to the puzzle I've been incredibly blessed to do the things I've done and be where I'm at in hunting and all that and like for me I'm just I feel like you know I've had some doors open and some opportunities I've had people take time to teach me if I ever get to the point where I'm all about me and I'm all, oh well, I'm just well sorry dude I got a big one in the bottom I gotta hunt him this morning yeah. you know and I'm sitting there that's such a selfish thing where for me to be able to use truly I believe the God-given gifts and abilities that I have to then share them with you and you know give you that opportunity it was like yeah you know that that to me dude means more than if i kill a 200 incher this year in kansas i do not care like i and i never wanted and if i ever change that i know i'm messing up because when when i stop living for others and start living for myself like i, I don't believe i'm the man that i need to be thank you for giving me this opportunity to be a blessing to you because like dude this is this is what this chokes me up thinking about it because i'm like this I, I could never that's what i said i could never kill another deer in my life and i would be perfectly happy if i could ha have moments like this yeah I mean, I've, I've gone the last <clears throat> three years hunting with a bow where i put in and i'd say 99 percent of my sits i don't even see deer mm -hmm. and uh some days it gets tough because it's like okay well i'm gonna go set up here it's you know it's the optimism starts to kind of fade a little bit mm -hmm. whenever you spend all that time and you don't see as much i mean but the things you learn from watching them and watching other animals man like i said i, I can't even, i can't even put into words how how amazing these creatures are and the amount of respect that I have for them. Yeah, that's what you want them to look like. Dude, look at the impact blood right there. Look at the splatter. Oh yeah, right here. Yeah, that's what you want them to look like. Wow. Just coated. Well, that's a nice broadhead too. It didn't break nothing. No, the old grizzly stick got her done. You know, it's good for education for you to blood trailing. Right, right. Dude, it's just everywhere. A big old cut on his neck. Really? Yeah. Yeah, dude, you, uh... Wow, the, I, the, that's the that's the exit, too, on the other side, huh? No, that's the entrance. Is that where I hit him? Yep. Oh, I thought I it would have been on the other side. No, because he was quartered away. Oh, that's right. That's he right. was quartered away just a little bit. So your exit is right. Yeah, look at that. That's crazy. Yeah, must have got into a brawl there and took one. <laughs> I'm just in uh, absolute amazement and uh, I'm extremely thankful. And it's amazing how strong these animals are too. Mm -hmm. It really is. Yep. Oh man. Now the fun begins. <laughs> Well, needless to say, that was a heck of a morning. <laughs> Paul crushed it. Buck down, baby. <laughs>